Welcome back to another Unturned video. In today's video, we're going to play Rust Turned, which is a Rust mod in Unturned. And we're actually going to get ourselves some crazy moments. Bro, I see him in the base. I'm getting... Dude, I'm hacking. We're going to raid PvP and dominate our area. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to drop a like. Let's try to reach 200 likes. And if it is your first time here, I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe. In the last video, I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. If you're watching, make sure to join my Discord, which will be linked in the description below. And today we're going to run another one, which is a Firefly Kitsuno hat. If you guys want to win this, make sure that you have liked, subscribed, and comment something below. And if you are a channel member, you also have a higher chance of winning this mythical. We are currently doing an event where if you guys wishlist a game on Steam, you will get a free unturned skin. All you have to do is join the Discord, which will be linked in the description below. Follow the rules, wishlist the game, open a ticket, send your trade link, and you will receive the skin in around a few hours. The skins can be a rare, epic, legendary, premium, or even a mythical. And I hope to see you guys participate in this event. Alright boys, just joined Ross Turned, I have absolutely nothing, I have not played on the server this swipe, and we're gonna try to get ourselves, hopefully, a good run, I spawned over a dome, I'm gonna loot it really quickly, maybe there's elite crates at the top, and hopefully we'll get ourselves, uh, we'll get ourselves a good run. My goal today, I do actually have myself a pretty good base location. Now, uh, you guys will see later on why. It's actually uh, an OP spot because we're gonna progress all of the cards today. We're gonna go from green, blue to red, and all of these cards will be right next to where our base is. At the same time, we're gonna have a recycler right outside our our base too and the location is actually quite chill not a lot of people go there so I'm not really worried about getting completely raided in the first 10 minutes. So what first things first is also I'm gonna get as much components as I possibly can so that then we'll just recycle everything because we're gonna need as much metal as possible for this run as well. I am thinking of building a full metal base, perhaps even HQM, and hopefully we'll do some race as well. I do want to get myself, as I mentioned earlier, full progression. So get all the key cards, destroy the elite crates, basically th that kind of stuff. I really hope that there's gonna be loot up here. Nobody looted it already in the f past few minutes, but yeah, it seems like someone actually already did. Oh, never mind. There's one elite crate. Oh yeah, never mind. There's nothing here. Okay. Alright, so I'm probably gonna head to Harbor and uh, recycle everything over there. Because currently that's the closest recycler. Alright, let's check out the recycler. Yeah, there's nobody around. So let's just put everything in there. Excellently put the scrap as well, but it's whatever. And we'll wait until everything turns into full metal and cloth and oil and whatever we're gonna get from here. So I've been roaming around the map a little bit. I'm getting ourselves quite a lot of stuff. I got myself the green key card as well. And one of my teammates is recycling. Everything that I'm getting that's good, I am putting them uh, in my vault. I know it's a bit scummy, but I don't really care. I don't want to lose the loot until I get a base down. And then as soon as we get a base down, I will empty all of my vaults. Got myself an LR as well, so that's pretty good. One of the best guns. I was pretty lucky, actually. There's another green key card here. I mean, we're not gonna take that, though. Yeah, there's a military crate over here. Let's go see what it has. So, we're going to go build next to large oil rig. The reason is that all of the key cards are very, very close to there. We already got the green key card, which was the only issue. But then when we get ourselves the blue key card, or the red key card, they're all literally very, very close. And obviously, from all large oil, we will get ourselves the red room. So just waiting for the recycler to be done and we would have enough components to build the majority of base already into full metal probably. Because we've hit so many barrels, it's actually insane. There's another box down here, let's take everything. Right, and this is where we're going to build the base. Let me drop all of the materials I have so that he can build with it. So Igor is our base builder every time I'm playing with him, I'm just letting him build the base. He's an experienced base builder even on other games like Rust, so I let him do all of the things, man. So, as I was saying, over here we have uh, this shed over here, which is actually perfect to recycle. Behind us we have oil rig, on the other side we have sewer branch, and on the other side we have airport. There's a guy over here. Finally, we're gonna get a kill. That's so bro has some loot. Yeah, there we go, he's dead. Oh, oh, he had a satchel. Okay, he had a hazmat suit, too. Right, that's actually a really good kill. But yeah, this is a really OP base location, man. Not a lot of people come here, either. Got ourselves a hazmat suit, too, so that we can start going to large oil. Because over there at the top, large elite crates spawn as well. And on the server, when you get yourself a hazmat suit, you don't actually lose, uh, like, percentage in the radiation. So it's, it's kind of weird. Ourselves a salvage pick, too. That's pretty nice. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to start your own unturned server and have no clue where to start? 
Then check out Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting is super easy to learn, the navigation is also very user friendly and not hard at all to learn. All the servers have really high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own servers, I had no idea how to do anything, but after a few minutes I learned the basics. They have locations all around the globe, the pricing is also very cheap, and they also have a variety of game servers to choose from, including Rust, Arc, and also Minecraft. A really good feature by Pine Hosting is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. If you have a server with another provider, Pine Hosting can help you move them as well. Make sure to check out Pine Hosting today and use the code LDG for 30% off, and let's get straight into the video. Shots outside. Someone's trying to raid our twig base already. Oh yeah, he's upgrading the- oh, he's right there. There we go, he's dead. It's mad up. Oh wait, there's another guy. I was gonna heal my teammate up. There we go. Yeah, there we go. They're both dead. Right, let's get our teammate up. Poor guy is downed. There you go. Okay, well, bro had some stuff. He had an MP5, Lede. The other guy had an LR. But my teammate's gonna go loot him. That's okay. Yeah, I mean, we are building next to large oil rig, which is a, a tier 3 area. So, I wouldn't be surprised if... You know, there's gonna be, like, big groups roaming by. The server has no group limit either. It's just gonna be us three, though. We're not gonna be any more today. And perhaps, like, a duo of one of us leaves. Alright, let's do the door. There we go. Alright, and base is almost... Well, technically, it's done now. This is the loot I got from him. We got another hazmat suit, so that's pretty good. We're gonna make ourselves some box, some crates, actually. Yeah, let's put them right over here. For now, just the smaller ones, and then we'll make the larger ones uh, later on. He had a pistol, so a bota bag. I literally have never seen anyone use a bota bag before. Okay, oh, that is what he got. Okay, he got some guns from that. That's actually pretty good. There's someone outside. Oh, my teammate's dead. Um, well, thankfully, we did manage to make the full base metal. The problem is, we're gonna get door camped already, and we just started. I gotta do the new code. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, well, um, they killed me through. I couldn't home. My bed is blocked. Okay. My bed is not blocked. I don't know why it said that. Yeah, he's still outside. Yeah, he's up there. There we go. He's dead. He killed my teammate again. Let's see if there's any more. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there is. I'm gonna salvage this. I didn't really think they could climb up there and door camp us, but yeah, it's whatever. Oh yeah, we got ourselves a bunch of uh, guns, so that's pretty nice. Another MP5, AK. We got our first AK, so another Hazzy. Okay, well, I mean, when you get door camp and you kill them, you technically profit. But the only problem is he will probably be back a billion times. So we gotta, I don't know, we gotta try to make some sentries or something outside, but I don't think we are well equipped to already do sentries, you know? Uh, we got Workbench Tier 1. Now, we're not really gonna learn anything from Workbench Tier 1. I just want to have it so that we can actually, you know, get Workbench Tier 2 and so on. Maybe we'll learn until Pistol Bullet, but other than that, I, I don't think we're gonna use it at all. I don't think we have enough for Workbench Tier 2 either. I think we still need uh, some more stuff. Yeah, we still need more. Okay. No problem. Our shots going on outside. Oh, my teammate killed someone. Okay, good. Yeah, I think it's the same guy that was door camping us. I think he came naked. Alright, we got workbench level 2. So from here, it's very important that we learn hazmat and this whole line until the very, very end. I got myself a few... Hazmat so that if we lose, uh, we, uh, we, we lose a few of them, we can always go back, craft them so that we can go to the uh, tier 3, dead zones, and all of that. Get myself a wall. I'm gonna go place this outside. I would love to, obviously, make all of this into uh, a compound or something like that. That would be pretty nice. So next, I'm probably gonna go to the green room, or maybe we'll actually go to the red room. See if it's open. If it's not open, that's okay, but there's elite crates over there. So that's always nice to have. Got ourselves a furnace too, so... I mean, not a furnace, a refinery, but we can make furnaces as well. Yeah, we should be able to make a few furnaces soon, actually, so that we can start smelting all of the ore that we have. Don't really have a lot yet, but definitely we'll be needing it later on. Because today, I would definitely want to do some raids. Alright, so we dropped a few airdrops, two of them, and we're gonna see... Hopefully we'll get something good. We popped it over here so that people will have to swim to get here. One of us is still at base, so that if he's here is walking by the base, that probably will mean they're coming to the airdrop, so we would know. 
But I really, really hope that we, we get something good from them. If we get red rooms, we can just open one right now. That's kind of what I'm hoping for, to be completely honest. And if we get guns, I'm happy. If we get C4, I'm happy. If we get rockets, I'm happy. Uh, that's mainly that's mainly how it is. Alright, one landed. Let's wait for the other one so that we don't get crushed. Yeah, there we go. And this one. Okay, green key card, some guns. Okay, well, uh, these aren't good. They are okay. We got some guns, but just kind of hoping for better. We got literally nothing that we want. Guns are good. I'm not going to complain over it. We got the grenade launcher. I guess we could use that, but yeah, I was hoping for at least C4 or rocket launcher or something like that. Or a red key card. That would have been good. All right, it's fine. Let's just depot everything over here. We got ourselves some comps as well. Nobody really tried to counter that one either. I'm rubber banding. What? I can't move. Hey, what the hell? I can't even go over there. Yeah, I can't go over here either. What? There's somebody swimming. Let's, let's fix our water graphics so we could see a bit better. I have no idea where he is. He's probably trying to, you know, come for the airdrops, but they're already depoted. Is he still? Yeah, he, he's not gonna come up now, probably. Oh, I hear him. Oh, I see him. Oh, yeah, I see him. There we go. He's dead. Let's go pick up his loot. Alright, well, he had a shotgun and an MP5. Not bad. We'll take those. If I jumped in the water, he would have killed me because I didn't have any SMG. But at least we got him. Alright. This one's not even locked. Oh, there's a... Oh. Okay, that was the guy that was door camping us. He's literally living right under us. What? He doesn't even lock it and he has a scent. Okay, that is literally a trap base. All right, well, we're gonna try to take that as our advantage and we're gonna try to go deep. Or uh, I don't know how we're gonna do that. I got myself an MP5 kit. I don't use these kits unless I really need them. We're very, very close, so let's go back. And we're going to go deep for this trap base, guys. This is the door camper, so we have to kill him. We have to, we have to go, we have to get rid of him. Because he's just going to keep door camping us this whole time, if we don't. Yeah, he's completely clueless. He's checking to see if there's people. Alright, he's dead. Now the problem is the generator. So what I'm going to have to try to do... Let's heal up. Let's see where the generator is. And I'll turn it off. I'll screw it. There we go. Alright. We went deep. Let's destroy the beds. Oh my god! Bro, there's so much loot! Our beds are destroyed. Bro, look at that loot. Yeah, my teammate's looting him. Let's destroy that so people can't counter. And then my teammate's just TP. He can't get up now, sadly, but it, it's all right. Bro, look at... Okay, so we got a Hezzy, a Furnace, a bunch of scrap LR. Bro, there's so much stuff in here. I'm really happy with this, actually. This is why you should always put code locks on the server. And don't try to do anything like a trap base or whatever. Because it will come back and it will bite you and you would lose all of your loot to a, to a guy like me, basically. We could have climbed from behind as well. Or maybe this guy didn't even know about code locks. Because even on his TC, he doesn't have a code lock. Yeah, he had HMLMG as well, so we got one of those, so I'm really happy with that as well. Right, let's start depoing everything in Vault so that we can carry more stuff. We got explosive ammo as well, man. That's so good. Alright, GG. W push, W raid, kind of, even though I didn't use any explosives. Someone punching outside. So we did depot all of the load. We're cooking um some some ore as well. We got ourselves two airlocks. What are you punching at? Oh, he had a shotgun. What? <laughs> Wait, what just happened? Is this the same guy that we went deep on? I have no idea. Bro, he was he had a shotgun. There's another guy over there. Hit him, hit him. How the hell is he not dead? There's another guy there too. Oh, there we go. That guy's dead. Let's see where this uh, bozo over here went. Here, no steps. Wait, what? Wait, wait, is this his base? Oh, there's... Oh, it is! We found a live base! Oh, yeah, he's building stuff in there. All right, well, we found our, our neighbor's live. Okay, well, um, that's amazing news. He didn't seem like he had a lot of loot, so we could kill him easily. All right, so I'm getting in a boat. I got myself the red card. I did finish the green key card and the blue key card. So we're going to go and hopefully get something good from here. I really hope we get C4, man. I pray we get C4. Even if it's just one, then we could research it and actually craft it. I don't have to waste so much scrap to learn all of the items before. Alright, here we go. First box, our grenade. Get another refinery. Nothing good over here. Yeah, a bunch of junk. Bro, 
Bro, we're not getting anything, man. What is this? Yeah, we're just getting components. Yo, a python, insane loot. Alright, well, we gotta break this box now. Alright, broke. And heavy vest, I already see. Alright, this sucked. We didn't get anything good. Just a bunch of components. I mean, we're gonna recycle them, obviously, but... Bro, what is this, man? This was not worth it. At all. Wait, I see him. Wait, what? Wait, what? Bro, die? Wait, I'm getting a bug. Bro, I see him in the base. I'm getting... Dude. <laughs> what? I'm getting a visual bug. I'm hacking. He can't see me, but I can. Bro, there is no way this is happening right now. I can see him. I see where the TC is. <laughs> Bro, there is no way. I have no ammo. I would know if he's gonna push out or something. Yeah, I can't enter either because it will rubber band me out. Okay, well, welcome to Unturned Rust in 2024. This is hilarious, bro. I would know exactly when he's gonna come out. I can't access it, sadly. He has a tier 3, tier 2 back there. I hope I don't get banned or whatever. I mean, I didn't do anything. It's just it's a visual bug or a glitch or something. I'm gonna use this to my advantage, obviously. Oh, he sees me. Oh, he's trying to shoot me through. He... He saw my head or something like glitch through. Bro, there's no way. This guy is terrified. He's terrified. Poor guy. I feel bad for him now. Bro, he's going up. Yeah, he's he, bro, he's taking LR. He has full heavy on him. <laughs> oh no, is he gonna tr Yeah, he's gonna try to kill me. I hit him. Oh, he's dead. Alright, well, he was not full HP then. Alright, well, I got an LR. I can't enter through though, sadly. Bro, I can't get it. Ah, oh, whatever. It's just a jacket. Whatever. Alright, let's go depot this. Poor guy, man. I kind of feel bad for him. But this is Rust turned and only the strong survive. Alright, we're gonna raid this dude. I think he left. Uh, we're gonna- we got some C4. We've been farming for quite a while. It's just us two as well, our third teammate. Uh, Igor, who's the base builder, he left. Because I guess it's getting a bit quite late now as well. Alright, two C4. Yeah, the owner left, sadly. That kind of sucks. We got three C4 satch- four C4, actually. Four C4 satchel. And we got some explosive ammo, and then we have ourselves the grenade launcher. Now I know exactly where it is. The base was completely open. Yeah, we're still not through, sadly. Now we're gonna have to use explosive ammo. We broke a little bit more than halfway. Alright, first magazine. Let's reload again. Yeah, broke a did quite a ton of damage. Maybe we have enough, actually. Since we have ourselves the uh, grenade launcher, so we have 12 grenades for that. So yeah, our explosive ammo is almost out. Just a few more bullets left. Yeah, there we go. Let's use the grenade launcher. Ah, uh, yeah, we, we may not have enough, actually. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't think we do, sadly. Oh, we did! Wait, we had a... Oh my god, it's closed, though. They, he closed it. No oh, never mind, he has no code lock. Bro, this is the second... Oh my god, he's geared. Oh yeah, he's gonna destroy the beds. Bro, he has a penguin. Alright, well, let's take everything. Oh yeah, he has quite a ton of stuff, actually. Guns, scrap. Alright, I will not complain. I'm gonna drop it on the floor so my teammates can see what it is, too. And we'll take the important stuff. All of these comps, they're going to recycle there. Yourselves a bunch of guns, too. Alright, well, you know what? Not that bad. At least we did raid them. Because we always have to get rid of the neighbors. And that's what we did. We went deep on our first neighbor and we raided the second neighbor. So this is our land and nobody should come here because we would just raid them. Yeah, he put a code lock on that one though. Poor guy, man. Alright, let's take all of these. That's pretty good. I will not complain over that. 
Bro, the airdrop landed right here as well. Let's go see if someone looted it or something. Oh, there's a guy. What the hell? Oh, he did loot it. Oh, he got blue key card. Okay, so I guess he got the loot from the airdrop. Thing is, I'm full from the stuff from the raid. Let's see if he left anything in there, but he took everything. Bro, he has plushies. He has a body pillow. What? There's body pillows in the server? Okay, um... We'll take the shark. We got, we'll take the blue key card. I guess we could take that. So uh, I don't know. We gotta see what it is. Yeah, Halo sight. Oh, well, at least we got at least we got the airdrop, I guess. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope that you did enjoy. If you guys want to see more Australian content in the future, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.